All right, we're here with Dr. Joan Rosenberg. And Joan, I've, I've got this one quote that you know, I've known for mm. you know, 15, 16, 17 years. And it always like it makes sense to me because it hits me like in the solar plexus. Mm -hmm. And it's from a book called Wild at Heart okay. by an author named John Eldridge. And I can't remember if it's Eldridge that actually says this quote or he's quoting some famous person. But it, it goes like this. A man's addictions are the results of him refusing his strengths. Let me say that again. A man's addictions are a result of him refusing his strengths. That's always got me. Right. And if you think of our addictions, you know, our, our people's addictions in the world, whether it's TV or, you know, uh, pornography, gaming, pornography gaming, yep. uh, shopping, uh, shopping, right? The alcohol, you, drugs, al yeah, we can go on and on. Or work, work. Yep. right? Yep. Could be all of these things. What I, I always see those things as, um, you know, distracting, you know, like distractions. You've, you've absolutely named it. Is that right? I absolutely named it. So, oh, cool. so, okay. so two quick thoughts on this. Okay. One is when I think of addictions, I think of diseases of isolation. Huh. Okay. It's sort of a disease of isolation. I've cut myself off from everybody else. Yeah, yeah. And if this is my drink, I've only made this important to me. So now this is my buddy. This is my friend that can never leave me. Right. But it, that's not real life, actually. Yeah. So, so one is that I become very isolated and, and insulated from everybody else if I'm dialed into an addiction. Yeah. Okay. The second, but is, which is you nailed it when you said distraction, I think of it as a distraction and a, a way to distract and disconnect from everything that's inside of me. So basically, if I'm addicted to something, it doesn't matter what it is I'm addicted to, I'm using it to disconnect and distract from some moment-to-moment -moment experience in me. What I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what I'm believing, what I'm needing, what I'm perceiving. I'm just like, I'm using it to check out yeah. from all the aliveness in me. So that's why, if I'm checking out from all of that, I can't possibly be in my strength. Right. Right. So I, I can totally get why he says that addictions actually don't allow somebody in, to be in their full strength. Right. Wow. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I totally get that. And, and you know, the, the, the older I get, um, and with men like my age, mm -hmm. uh, it's really apparent. You start to see it more and more. Mm -hmm. And it's very, it's, it could be very subtle. Like it could be a, what we would call a good addiction. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right, right. But it is a distraction from who they are, from their, the expression it, that they want. It, and I think of it as deadening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually, it actually robs us of, uh, of our aliveness. Mm. Yeah. What if this, I always have fantasies like this. Like what if every time you opted for the distraction or to the, the addiction right. rather than your mission? Right. What if every time you did that, like some big uh, uh, boxing glove hit you right in the nose? <laughs> I like have dreams that that sh would happen. So every time you get over here distracted off your mission or right. your dream, right. you're punched as hard as you, you know, in the nose. That's a wake-up call. Right? Yeah. How long do you think you'd be addicted then? How long do you think you'd be distracted? It wouldn't happen. You'd be right. You'd be, stay, you'd be staying the course on mission. Yeah, totally. We've got to work on a product like that. It's just like, yeah. you know? <laughs> exactly. But, but again, because, again, staying on course with the mission allows you to pursue the best. Yep. If you're addicted, you're deadening the aliveness, but it's the pursuit of your mission. Hmm. It is the pursuit of being the best that actually draws the most aliveness out of you. Right. You feel more, more vitality. Yeah. You feel more purposeful. Your life has more meaning. Yeah. So, I, and I really, so the addiction robs you of that aliveness and that meaning. Yeah, it's good. And so... I always look for a place, you know, when I'm, when I'm going through a distinction like this, I'm right. always looking for a place to right the ship so, so that I know when I'm off course. 
So when I'm doing one of those addictions, whether, whether it's like watching the news or the media or watching sports, which some could say, well, that's not an addiction, Bo, that's fine. Unless I'm using it for other purposes. Right. Right? So whenever I find myself distracted over here, I know where the mission is. It lives right over here, right? right. The dream lives right here. Yes. The, the distraction lives here, and the dream lives an inch over here. So every time I'm here, all I've got to do is go right. and keep riding that ship. Yep. That's the tool. That's the tool that you've got to implore, right? And you know when you do it, like, we know. Yes, we do. We know when we're using something right. to, to pull us off. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So use that tool, write the ship so that you're on your dreams and you're living your life, you know, on purpose. You're writing the story of your life and you're living it out how you want it, not how, you know, the TV wants it or the media wants it or whatever your distraction is. All right. So get out there and try that tool. Thanks, John. You're welcome. It's great. A lot of the topics that we're talking about today with Joan, um, you know, that's why I have her at my events. That's why I have her here. If you want to go deeper with her and you want to know more about her, she has a podcast, the Mindstream podcast. And Joan, tell us a little bit about it. It's, it's on iTunes. Okay. And it actually, I cover a wide range of, of psychological topics. And uh, there's also a, a segment called Words That Inspire where I'm drawing ideas from books and talking about that. I'll start doing interviews. We talked about scheduling one with I'm you. Be, that's I'm going right. to be a right. right. But yes. it's like there's, there's one that has to do with how to handle failure and uh, being afraid of taking risks. There's another one on dealing with self-sabotage. It's breaking, breaking free of the kind of the obstacles that hold us back. So there's a wide range of topics that, I, that really fit with yeah. uh, the whole storytelling experience. And really, the subtitle of the Mindstream podcast is how to design a more fully expressed life. Ah, so yeah. that's really what we're talking about. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah, going for the best, feeling more alive. And, and being more fully expressed. Yeah, the ability so, to express. So it's a lot of topics that, that I know that will really serve. So I, I hope you'll listen. The Mindstream Podcast, Dr. Joan Rosenberg. Thanks, Joan. You bet. It's great. Thanks, Bo. Yeah.